Hello and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Matt and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a volume series acrylic kit from Tamburo Drums. Italian drum builder Tullio Granatello first began making drums in 1982, starting by producing the world's first ever solid wood stave shell drum. From there his reputation as a craftsman and innovator quickly grew and Tamburo drums were officially launched in 1984. Since then Tamburo have gained an enviable reputation in the world of drums and we've been looking forward to getting hands on their drums for quite some time. The kit we have here today is from their acrylic volume series and features a 20 by 16 bass drum complete with bass drum riser, 10 by 7 and 12 by 8 inch rack toms, a 14 by 14 inch floor tom, and a 14 by 5.5 inch snare drum. All of the seamless shells are handmade from Italian methacrylate and are finished in wine red. All of the drums have a thickness that falls between 3 and 4 millimeters, with each utilizing Tamburo's perfect curve edges rather than traditional bearing edges, which Tamburo say is to follow the curve of the drum heads more naturally to produce a fuller sounding tone. All of the drums sport Tamburo's ST lugs, which are specially designed to allow for maximum tension and stability of tuning while maintaining a smaller physical footprint. These hold in place 2.3mm triple flanged hoops on the snare and toms, while the bass drum features 12 ply 8mm beach hoops with rubber lined claws. The rack toms are mounted via rim style mounts while the floor tom sports three low mast die cast brackets that are isolated from the shell using thin rubber gaskets to help maintain the drum's resonance. Elsewhere, the snare drum features one of Tamburo's fused block snare strainers, holding in place 25 steel wires welded on staggered anti-noise plates. The kit comes supplied with Evans heads throughout, the bass drum has a clear EMAD batter paired with an ebony EMAD front head, while the toms have clear EC2 batters over clear G1 resonance side. Finally, the snare has a coated UV1 batter over the snare side 300. Price wise, the kit has a UK retail price of £1,800. Let's hand things over to Nick before coming back for our thoughts.
Once set, the kit gives a striking first impression. The wine red acrylic shells and gleaming chrome shell hardware strike the perfect balance between effortlessly grabbing the attention of anyone in the room while looking classy and inviting to play. The build quality and the finish of the kit is exceptional. All of the drums are flawless, with Tamburo's attention to detail evident in every aspect of the kit. Tuning rods and bearing edges are smooth, giving an easy tuning experience, while all of the shell hardware is perfectly solid and functional. When you start to play, you are rewarded with a fantastic full sounding bass drum note. It's aggressive and well projected, with lots of depth and body. It sings at the lowest volume feathered strokes, while louder playing gives you a well-rounded solid note that fills the room beautifully. The rack toms give a clean, clear tone with great fundamentals coupled with plenty of depth and body. Like the bass drum, the quietest of strokes elicits a warm, well-rounded note, while louder onslaughts give a full, fat, aggressive tone. The floor tom shares these traits, giving deep, full notes, while maintaining clarity and musicality. It bridges the gap between the bass and the toms perfectly, giving a feeling of uniformity while you play. Finally, the snare drum, which is bold, snappy and well projected. Rim shots are almost ear-splittingly loud, while cross sticks are full and fat. Overall, the kit exudes musicality, with its projection and aggression matched effortlessly by its warmth, body and depth of tone. As we alluded to already, this kit is a real head-turner. Although one negative is the large logo on the bass drum display head, which is possibly a little overbearing, but it's definitely not style over substance, as it sounds equally impressive, with its rich full tones, coupled with plenty of aggression and cut, it would certainly work well in almost any live situation. Also, we feel recording this kit would be just as rewarding, as it performs well under the microphone. We can see this kit perfectly suited to louder genres. Rock, pop, metal and gospel would all benefit from its overall tonal production. But we feel that when played with finesse and control, it would work just as nicely in quieter settings. With a UK retail price of £1,800, we feel this kit offers good value for money. If you're looking for a high quality kit that sounds easily as good as it looks, then this kit is definitely one you should check out. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of future content. And we'll see you next time here at Drummer's Review.